Hey guys, I am back with more red. <laughs> I got all the way back where I was at. What is wrong here? Mm. Grandmother, what are you doing? Well, well, it seems my curse has done a good job l letting you have different personalities. No wonder my cute le leaf piggy and magic mirror were destroyed by you. A curse? What curse? <laughs> Did Green tell you anything? Did you think your parents... Death and your weird personalities were just an accident. Bastard! You're the one who killed Mom and Dad. I'm going to kill her. No, we can't. She's our only living relative. <laughs> That's right, I'm your grandmother. You will be the materials for my everlasting beauty, and you will be with your beloved grandmother together forever. Red, she's the one who killed R Mom and Dad. I can't forgive her. Who cares if she's our grandmother? <laughs> Grandmother, do you regret killing our parents? Regret, you say? Are you asking me if I'm regretful about it? <laughs> My husband abandoned me, so I needed love. Green decided to be with that filthy wolf plan boy, so I gave up on my family. Love that matters. In regards to the curse present upon you, it is just a new spell experiment. Why should I regret about that? Your death to betray my internal beauty. 
<laughs> it seems this body won't last any longer. Stupid old hag, are those your last words? Don't worry. It's just that this body can't endure too much pressure. So all I have to do is getting a new one. I'm not reading that. Actually, La Mac Losaki Mandalo? La? Huh. Okay. Let's just. Yep. She just created an egg. What the? That old hag turned into an egg? I sense a very dangerous atmosphere. This is bad. Red, break it quick. Okay.
that was really tough. Ay. My beauty! My youth! I almost got it! I hate you! Curse you! Little girl, your skin is so delicate. Do you mind sharing some with your granny? <laughs> I just had to make that noise. What? Mm. Still clinging to her beauty until the very last minute. That's just gross. Seems she was the one who took the village girls. They might be in the house. Let's save them. Please save us. You guys fall back a little. I'll get you out. Brian, I'm recording, so don't even think about it. Aren't you the girl who lives on the edge of the village? Did you save us? Thank you. You're welcome. You dropped something. Here you are. This letter. You're the witch's granddaughter? Are you planning to capture us too? No, I'm not. Ah! Get away from us! Get away from me, monster! Damn it. What? What is this bitch saying? Say it one more time. I'll hit you. Ah, help! Looks like we can't go back to the village now. Those villagers will burn down our house for sure. Duh, of course. What should we do now, Red? We're alone again, with no family left. I'm concerned about what Grandmother said about the curse. Does it have anything to do with this book? Uh, uh, open it. Maybe we can find something. Okay. For the miracle, the curse can conflict the blood with each other, resulting in the split personality of the child. This paragraph was torn up. If one wants to lift the curse, the caster must be killed and the book destroyed. The extra personalities will be erased and the norm and the one under the curse back to normal. The caster must be that old woman. So all we have to do is destroy that book? Idiot, didn't you read the whole thing? If the spell is removed, you and I will be gone. Mm. But if the curse is removed, that means red will be normal, right? That way, she won't have to be discriminated by others anymore. Wow, you really thought about it. You really thought it through this, through this time. It sure can let Red let a normal life. No, I don't want to be separated from you guys. I'd rather stay the same, as long as you guys are with me. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. I still want to wear pretty clothes, eat tasty food. Why would I want to disappear? But we still have to hide this book. Red, let me your body. I'll keep this book safe. Um, okay. What is she doing? Stop red. What are you 
you guys doing? Stop it! And let me go! If you can live a normal life, when we are gone, it's all worth it. Red. It was because of us that you suffered from discrimination of the villagers. We owe you too much. You, you guys don't owe me anything. You are my sisters. It was just you two were with me during those days. I don't want you guys to disappear. With us around, you'll always suffer from the torture of others. We don't want you to be treated badly anymore. It's not fair. Why are you guys choosing to leave me? Leaving me alone so I live a normal life. You dummy. That's what we want for you. Because you are our sister. Wow. <laughs> what? What's happened? What's happened? We get to have our own body, too. Vermilion! Camellia! Hey, don't cry. Don't you see we're okay? It seems like the torn part from the book was if the barracle is an even number, it will become one. Maybe that's what it meant. Huh? So, are we supposed to be triplets? Let's just think it that way. Or else our fraternity won't last long. You guys are, are not allowed to do this yet. I don't want to be separated from you two. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we promise. Oh, <laughs> One year later. Ah, help me! What? Idiot. We all fled. Hurry up and shoot. Wow, that was pretty good. 
that was the actual real ending. I... I am really surprised. End the secret enemy in the in second level. I won't lie, that was pretty good. Um. I think uh, I will play this again sometime uh, for the normal ending route for you all. It's pretty much... I'm the Red Hood Hunter. The normal ending. Anyways, this has been Shadow Play 93. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Keep on the stuff. Laters.